We have a rare win here for liberals and progressives. It's on the issue of net neutrality. Huffington Post explains, In a long-awaited decision, a federal appeals court on Tuesday upheld the Obama administration's net neutrality rules, dealing a punishing blow to telecom and cable companies that have sought to overturn the regulations. Characterizing the government's net neutrality effort as an attempt to achieve internet openness and the principles and the principle that broadband providers must treat all internet traffic the same regardless of source, the U.S. Court of Appeals for the D.C. Circuit concluded that the rules are authorized under current law. All right, so let me explain uh, what this means. ISPs, or internet service providers, uh, wanted the ability to slow down traffic to certain websites and speed up traffic to certain websites. And their argument was, hey, look, the internet is us. We are the internet. So this idea that there can be these rules controlling us, well, that's like telling us to control our own private property, and you can't do that. This is our private property. So therefore, if we want to slow down traffic to a certain website and we want to speed it up to another one, you can't tell us no. That's the argument that they made. Now, the Obama administration, in a rare instance where they're 100% right, they came along and said, no, uh, we're going to treat this like it's a public utility. So you can't, based on your own whims, make the internet less free and less open. Because what's going to happen? Well, uh, I mean, obviously, if you give the internet service providers the option, what they'll do is they'll start basically uh, demanding money from people or demanding money from different companies and websites. So, you know, you go, to, and some big companies can afford that, small companies can't afford that, so they could go under. So they could say, okay, I'll speed up the, the uh, you know, the amount of time it takes to get to Bing, but not Google, or Yahoo, but not Bing, or whatever the case is, and you make it so that one becomes massively preferable over the other. So then the other companies would be fucked, and they go, okay, I guess I gotta pay my bribe, I guess I gotta give you more money, or else you'll keep my internet speed uh, slow. So, as a result of that, the administration goes, no, we're not gonna let you do that. We're gonna, we're gonna have FCC rules that regulate it, that mandate that you give the same openness and freedom and speed to all the different websites, and you can't demand money to slow down or speed up, uh, for different people in different sites. And that is exactly the uh, right thing to do, and it turns out that a court decided that the FCC rules that keep it free and open are totally constitutional and okay, and and that's how it should be. So this is a, a, a big time win. Now, here's the aspect of the story that's fucking maddening, man. You have people on the right, and we covered them all along from the beginning of this story, who ha are honestly so ignorant and so stupid that they flip the story on its head. So they're arguing that the the case is the, is the polar opposite of what it is. They're saying that President Obama and the FCC want to shut down the internet and make it less free and open. And the companies are arguing to make it more open and more free. No, 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 no. They aligned with the wrong people thinking that the wrong people are doing the right thing. No, you idiot. The FCC rules are to keep the internet exactly as it is right now. The Obama administration is on team keep the internet exactly as it is right now, free and open. But these jackasses, in their infinite ignorance, they're like, I don't, I don't like Obama. Obama bad. FCC bad. Regulations bad. Therefore, regulations are wrong by definition. Companies are right by definition. Let me align with these people. Oh shit, if they win, they slow down the speed of my internet. <laughs> my, uh, website. So, you know, that I was thinking Glenn Beck is the perfect example of this. He just got the issue exactly backward. Meanwhile, if the, the companies were to win on this, it's totally conceivable that they would go to Glenn Beck and say, now you got to pay X amount a month in order for us to keep your, uh, your speed up. He'd be like, what, what the fuck? And then he'd realize, oh shit, Obama and the FCC were right with their regulations to try to keep the internet open. So, uh, this is a, a rare win here for progressives. And understand, like, the reason why we won might not be because we just have the more logical argument. In fact, it's almost certainly because not because we don't have the more logical argument. It's because we just happen to luck out that many companies with a lot of big money outspent the other big companies that wanted to, uh, you know, have control of the internet and slow down the speeds. So you had, I, in fact, I think I mentioned some of them, like Google, for example, they came out against this. Uh, you have a lot of 
financial firms on Wall Street came out against this because they have investments in some startup companies. Those startup companies have websites, and they don't want access to those, you know, startup businesses. They don't want the speed of the internet for those companies to slow down. It's because then they'd have to pay a bribe, and that's an extra cost. And so the financial institutions and Wall Street, they don't want this either. So, so you had big money line up against big money, and the big money that was on the right side just happened to outspend, and as a result, we ended up winning. Now, the court case is a little different. I was talking more about the legislative battle here. But when it came to the court case, it could just be that we made the better legal argument in court, and the side that's correct made the better legal, legal argument. But at least for the time being, this is a huge, huge win for the openness and the freedom of the internet. I mean, I, I hesitate to say this, but I fear that in the long run, it's almost inevitable that we lose on this issue. Because it just takes some more unscrupulous legislation to get through, some more propaganda to flip the issue on its head, the, the case going in front of the wrong judge any of that stuff, and the freedom of the internet can be gone like that. So you need to embrace the freedom of the internet while we have it.